The flickering neon sign cast long, grotesque shadows. Body lay sprawled beneath it still as death. Rookie. Officer James Miller. Face. Youthful. Now frozen in eternal surprise. Sarah Blake, seasoned detective, knelt. Examined the scene. Single gunshot. No struggle. Execution style. Her city she knew, held a darkness that devoured innocence. Tonight, it claimed one of their own. Miller's eyes stared vacantly, accusation in their fixed gaze. Find who did this, they seemed to whisper. A promise formed on Sarah's lips, cold and resolute. Justice would be served, whatever the cost. Night had fallen upon the city, a shroud of darkness masking the grime beneath its glamour. Neon lights pulsed, a deceptive heartbeat reflecting off the slick, rain-washed streets. Every shadow held a secret, every corner, a potential crime scene. Years on the force taught Sarah that darkness wasn't just an absence of light, it was a breeding ground for the city's sins. Tonight the city felt different, more menacing. The air itself crackled with a tension that sent shivers down her spine. Miller's death was a gaping wound, bleeding into the fabric of the city. She had to find the source. Interrogation room cold and sterile. Sarah sat across from Miller's partner, Officer Davis. His eyes darted, shifty and evasive. He was a good kid, Davis mumbled, avoiding her gaze. Kept to himself, mostly. Mostly? Sarah pressed, leaning forward. What does that mean? Davis hesitated, then sighed. He was asking questions, about some off-the-books operation. Said something wasn't right. The pieces started falling into place. A rookie, too righteous for his own good. A department with secrets best left buried. And Sarah, caught in the middle, determined to uncover the truth. The deeper Sarah dug, the more resistance she encountered. Colleagues turned tight-lipped. Files went missing. The once familiar precinct walls now felt suffocating, closing in on her. Captain Thompson, her mentor, pulled her aside. His gaze held a warning. Let it go, Sarah, he urged, his voice low. Some things are bigger than us. His words tasted like ash in her mouth. Betrayal cut deep. The thin blue line, once a symbol of solidarity, now felt like a noose tightening around her neck. She couldn't breathe, couldn't trust. She was on her own. The evidence led Sarah down a treacherous path. A trail of dirty money, compromised officials, and a conspiracy that reached the highest echelons of power. Fear gnawed at her, but so did a steely resolve. A shadowy figure emerged from the darkness, a threat veiled as a warning. Get out while you still can, detective, the voice hissed. Some truths are better left buried. But Sarah had already dug too deep. The city held its breath, a silent spectator to her pursuit of justice. Every step she took was fraught with danger. Every clue, a piece of a puzzle that painted a terrifying picture. She was standing on the edge of a precipice. One wrong move could send her plummeting into the abyss. The warehouse echoed with the sounds of a struggle. Gunfire erupted, momentarily illuminating the faces twisted in desperation and rage. Sarah fought with the ferocity of a cornered animal, her every move fueled by grief and righteous fury. Justice, when it came, was bittersweet. The truth, a double-edged sword that cut both ways. Lives were lost, careers shattered, and the city's underbelly exposed in all its ugliness. Sarah stood amidst the wreckage, her victory tinged with ashes. As dawn painted the sky in hues of gray and purple, she knew this was not the end. It was merely the closing of one chapter, the beginning of another. The city's darkness was vast, its secrets deeply buried. But she would be there, a beacon in the night, watching, waiting, ready to fight the shadows. The fight for justice never truly ends.